Hi, welcome to my reading. This is Divine Buddhist Tarot. I have some messages. Okay. So I was getting some channel messages. And essentially what that means is uh, I was minding my business and I started getting divine downloads just coming to me while I was trying to prepare myself some food. And then I asked permission, was I to share these messages? And I was advised I can that's what that means all right moving forward i also want to say hello welcome what it do what's up to the aries aquarius virgo gemini energies that are watching me hi now um there's a lot of things going on in this reading because there's a lot of people um involved in whatever this is that's going on <laughs> whatever whatever this is okay and I heard heavy bewitchment, okay? And that that was one of the channel messages I heard. I heard heavy bewitchment. Like, there's a lot of bewitchment going on, meaning there's a lot of people throwing energy around out there. You know what I'm saying? Some people with very strong intent, knowing what they're doing, trying to intentionally, you know, um, manifest some type of uh, desired outcome for their own pleasure. So, I'm going to try to be as organized as I can with the messages so it comes out very clear because a lot of the times with my Chiron and Gemini, um, I tend to either think faster than I speak, you know what I mean? Or I just know what I mean, so I just assume other people know what I mean. And that's why I'd be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's how I talk. That's how I communicate. Anywho. But, um, or I just communicate in a way that, like, it may make sense to me, but it might, like, I, th there's people who are able to grasp what I mean, but a lot of the times... I just want to make sure that I'm clear and I think that's just another aspect of that position that I have I just be want to make sure I'm clear because I know what I mean but I just be wanting to make sure that I'm delivering it correctly because like I said sometimes I think faster than I speak <clears throat> or I say certain things and I know what the meaning of it is but it can have a whole different meaning than what like the standard meaning is you know what I'm saying like I just make up my own language make up my own words and Stuff means different stuff to me than do to other people. And, and I'm cool with that. I just, I be in my own little world doing my own thing. So it is what it is. But anywho. Um, so in regards to the messages. All right, let's, let's, let's get into it. So I'm getting a very strong um, energy here where it could be a situation. Because um, I'm picking up Virgo energy. Now place the energies where they fit. You could be a sun sign Virgo. Maybe you got strong placements of Virgo in your birth chart. Or maybe the energies just relate to you, whatever. I'm just going to tell you how the messages come through to me. And it may be exactly that or it may, you know, have some relation or association, okay, in regards to the signs that I'm saying. That's what I mean. Um, so take it as it may. If it's your story, it is. And if it ain't, it just, it ain't, all right? So I'm getting a situation where there could be like three scenarios going on. The first scenario I'm picking up is that I'm I'm picking up strong Virgo female energy, right? For the Virgo female energy, I feel like this is the energy where the individual is married. It feels like a person who's married um, or in some type of long-term, significant, serious type of relationship title. I'll put it like that. <laughs> um, but I feel like this Virgo female is doing... I'm getting black magic, dark magic, that's what I heard, on her partner, so her husband, um, because she knows he doesn't want to be with her anymore. She knows that he has his eyes on someone else, or she feels threatened, and she thinks that there are other people who want her man, um, or she feels some type of way that her, her man can be taken i mean that's just really what it is but i feel like as well too what is going on is that um this virgo is doing magic on the man so her man she's uh doing magic on the person who he is either interested in or people who she feels that would who she's intimidated by and um or who he has expressed that he has interest in 
and um, she's doing magic on herself, on her career as well, too. So, she, so that's part of the bewitchment. Then, in other instances, this could be a male who is a Virgo. He could be in a relationship. I'm getting marriage type of energy. He could be doing black magic to get out of a relationship with someone who he don't want to be with, a.k.a. his wife or whoever this person is that they have a title with. Or, um, and he, he is doing magic on the person who he is interested in or who he wants to go towards. Now, I'm also getting, there is another energy of someone who is, has the energy of a third party energy. And when I say third party energy in this particular situation, I'm picking up the energy that this is either someone who is smashing the Virgo female's husband currently has smashed the Virgo female's husband, um, while they have been married or it's someone who has just you know been in a intimate relationship with the virgo females uh husband significant other whatever the title is uh, <clears throat> and at some point in time and this person um is still relevant in the picture has feelings for this man okay um and this person is in this situation somehow too in some instances somebody th th this third party person could be doing black magic but I kind of just feel like this person is still in the picture in the sense that they may either want to they I feel like they want their position back or they just don't want Virgo the Virgo female with this man because they feel like the Virgo female um it just feel like it's beef there it feel like it's contention um if that's the right word I'm using but it feels like it's kind of like like a beef between this person who is like the third party <clears throat> okay and you would know it like you, you okay anyways it it's somebody who had sex with the virgo females um significant other at some point in time so either the person is currently still having it sex with the individual still like now um or the person was at some point in time having sex with the virgo females husband while the virgo female has had that title um and or it could just be someone who has had sex with this person at some point in time. So in some instances, it's a home wrecking energy. In some instances, it's just somebody who had a very deep connection, a very deep bond with, you know, whoever is the significant other or the title has the title of that <clears throat> for the Virgo female. And anyways, I feel like this person wants back into the picture. They don't feel like the Virgo female should be in that position because I kind of feel like this individual feels like their life would... Um, I heard, okay, I'm, I heard sh you sitting on the pot or you sitting on the toilet, but you ain't shitting. So I kind of feel like this person feels like, like you ain't doing nothing with your life. You're not doing nothing with the opportunity. I just kind of feel like this person feels like they could do better than you um, with what you have. Okay. That's just really what it feels like for the Virgo females. It just kind of feels like someone who feels like you, you either ain't taking care of home or that they just feel like they could do better than you or, you know what I'm saying? Um, or they just feel like they have, um they just have, feel like they have a better bond or a better um, relationship with this individual, you know, uh, with, with your significant other is what I mean. Um, and yeah, this person could be doing black magic um, on your relationships for y'all to, uh, for those who are regular females to break up with your husband. Um, but I'm gonna be very clear. This is somebody who has had the, uh, sex with your person or is currently having sex with your person just so we are clear yeah anyways so um besides that i feel like there's the energy of constipation okay so the virgo females you may be constipated you may be doing constipation spells on on whoever your significant other husband whatever this person you, the title is that you want to call it um Either you're doing spells on this. I mean, you could be doing spells on the man, but I feel like you're doing spells on the person who he has interest in. Okay, so this literally could be for some of y'all. Y'all doing like shit spells. I'm hearing mirror spells. You know, some of y'all getting real dark, deep, dark and deep with it. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it feels very, um, yeah. It's a lot. I feel like y'all doing the most. Okay, you're doing the most. Okay. Um, I feel as well too. 
if in other instances this could be the person who wants your position like i said that that female who is currently sleeping with your man or the, the female who has slept with your man at one point in time she could be doing this on you as well too so if you got constipation well that's that would be that yeah that definitely could be why um what else So let's recap. So this is either a Virgo female who has implemented doing black magic because her man don't want to be with her. She's doing black magic on herself, on her career, on her love and romance life with the man. And she is doing black magic on the person who he's interested in or just people who she feels threatened by. This could be a Virgo male who is in a relationship who... um doesn't want to be with his significant other anymore. I'm not really getting that the Virgo male is doing black magic. I honestly don't really feel that way. But if this is another male who is not a Virgo, okay, or maybe he just got Virgo highly expected, this male is doing black magic to get out of the relationship he is in. So the marriage he's in, he don't want to be in that he don't want to be in that marriage. He try, he doing black magic on the person who he is, I guess technically married to, okay? Or whoever he has the status with. And then he is doing black magic on a person who he wants to be with. So he could be trying to stall and hold up the other person who he want to be in a relationship, like trying to block people from coming towards this individual who he want to move towards because he feel like that person, he knows that this person has a lot of competition. Like, so he's a, very aware that there could be other people who this um, person who you want to go to is uh, interested in this individual. So he could be doing like spells to hamper and hinder this person's love relationship life that he wants to go towards I guess like essentially to buy him time so he can get out of the relationship or get out of whatever he's doing with this person who is looked at as a significant other and then he doing black magic on the significant other or the wife or whatever this is because he don't want to be with this person anymore so I hope that it's clear to you all now I'm also getting the energy of in some instances this is a situation where Someone got with someone who was a sex worker intentionally. Um, I mean, like, when I say that, I just mean, like, somebody knew that somebody was a sex worker. So a hoe, prostitute, um, escort, whatever the person decided to call themselves as their profession. So uh, the male in this situation intentionally got with someone. They knew what it was in some instances. The female knew what it was. She knew, you know, it was a transactional relationship. And um, I feel like in some instances where this is at play, where this is a sex worker, this individual purposely like did something to try to, what is that, um, trap someone, okay? So that they could uh, further their career is what I'm getting. Now, I'm not saying that this person, this, this female who was a sex worker did not have love for the individual, maybe, maybe not. But I do feel like the intention behind it was not love. It was essentially to further their career, okay? Or to gain something from this, you know, to, to be able to merge with someone with the intention of getting something out of it beneficial for them, okay? So love was not the priority. Love could have developed, you know what I mean? But it wasn't, it wasn't the primary reason why this sex worker female wanted to attach herself to this male these two individuals went into an initial I guess connection with each other and they knew what that was and then I feel like the female tried to make it something more okay she, by trying to make something permanent and attach herself to him now in other instances there was a male who did not know he was dealing with a sex worker and then he came to find out about that through means of he saw a money gram okay so he saw a money gram and uh, apparently maybe something about this money gram clicked in his head and he realized you know this don't look right something ain't sitting right you know she not doing whatever work that she say she do or she she's not getting money or making money in the manner that whatever she initially told him and that was the indicator to him that this person was a sex worker. And, he, and when he found out that this individual was a sex worker, he started doing some more research. And he was finding out why this person start, was taking trips because I'm hearing migrating. 
this person was taking trips. They was migrating. They were they were going long distances and things of that nature um, out of the country and whatnot. This also could be a means as to if this is a person who has migrated from a different country, this could be why this person did that or why someone migrated to a country or something like that. Someone migrated somewhere. They either came from another country or they went to another country or they were constantly traveling to other countries. But either way, this is how this male found out that this individual was a sex worker. So in some instances, we have some... We have one scenario where someone blatantly was cognitive of the fact that they were dealing with one. They never intended to be in a serious relationship with this person, but this person tried to trap them. Now, in some instances, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is through a baby, right? In other instances, there definitely was black magic that was done that this person did to try to make something more significant and permanent than what it was. I even am hearing that in one instance, this male told this female like I never wanted to be with you like it was never supposed to be anything serious like I thought it was just sex you know what I'm saying so the female knew what was up but apparently she was trying to make it something more than what it was so she you know she was living it with delusions of grandeur you know trying to make something more than it was and I feel like her desperate attempt of trying to like I said further her career or just secure her lifestyle or something like that or just secure her life in some form or fashion is um in those instances probably why she implemented using black magic in this situation to get this individual but I feel like the male made it very clear like he made it very clear at some point in time either right away he made it very clear that that's all he wanted and that's what it was and it wasn't gonna be nothing more and then he could end up being in a relationship with her and that's after she started doing the black magic on him or along the way a man could have been in a relationship with a woman and then they could have I don't know they 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 was having some type of moment where the man blurted out hey well I never thought it was going to be your permanent relationship anyways I thought you know we was just having sex you know what I'm saying so in some instances this person said this right away was like this is what it is you know what I'm saying like I ain't I'm, I'm not trying to do anything more than that and then in another instance the man was in a full-fledged relationship along the way and then it feels like he got mad you know what I'm saying or he just was being honest and was just like well I mean to 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 be truthful like this is how I just looked at you you know what I'm saying so at some point in time like that was divulged by this this male um in the instances where there was like you know, just a situation where either he's dealing with a sex worker or this is what the relationship initially just started off as. Like, it wasn't serious. He never saw himself as marrying this individual. He never intended to marry this person. Now, I feel like either way, regardless of whatever scenario you relate to, I feel like whoever the male is in this situation who wants to go to a new relationship, he does see someone who he wants to be in a relationship with. He does see someone who he looks at as a wife. Because I kept hearing the um, rocking that thing, the uh, dream song. And I heard him say, I want to change her name to Mich- to Mrs. Nash. I think that's what he says. There's nothing left to say. So I feel like this male, he knows what he wants. He knows who he wants to go to. He knows who he wants to be with. And I feel like he's already looking at this individual with that, that in, like, with that off, like, the rip. Like, he knows, like... The person he wants to go towards, he's like, I know I want to marry this person. So I kind of feel like upon him coming into realization of whoever this person is who he's interested in, he's like, I know I want to marry that person. Now, in some instances, I do really feel like this is a new individual who is not involved in this situation. But maybe people keep trying to bring this new individual into it and trying to make it about them or casting spells and stuff at this new person who is completely has nothing to do with whatever these two people who don't truly like each other or, you know, trying to hold on to something that doesn't want them or whatever this is that's going on in the situation. I, I, I do feel like this is a new person who this male wants to go to in, in a lot of the situations, but it could be as well too, because like I said, I was picking up a third party type of energy where either this is a like a homewrecker mistress type of energy or someone who this person just had a very deep, significant, like, bond with that is never going to be broken you know what I'm saying like even if these people are not having sex though even if these people haven't had sex while this person is married to whoever this um energy is who you know keeps trying to throw dark magic at each and every person who they feel threatened by I kind of feel like the bond never was broken if even if the person is still not 
currently at the moment having sex or has even if the person has not intervened in the relationship i just feel like this person has a bond with this other individual whether it's a new individual or whether it's a um a person who they previously had a deep intimate relationship with like the bond cannot be broken and i just kind of feel like that is what this this male is realizing he's realizing that he has like deep feelings for someone either someone who he has never even been with in this lifetime or he has feelings for someone who he still like who he used to be with but he realized like maybe like that this is the one who got away type of energy okay and that person is still that could be why this person is still in the the energy or in the situation because someone is still holding on to the fact that they want to be with this this other person okay they don't want to be with the individual who they are currently with which is why they are doing black magic trying to get out the relationship with that person or they don't want to be with the person who they're with and they want to go towards someone new you know what I'm saying? Who they feel um, better suits them. Let's see if there are any more messages um, before we wrap this up. The last message I want to say as well to whoever this Virgo female is um, <laughs> that I keep picking up on, who husband does not want to be with her. Um, I'm being told to say like she spends like her waking hours and her waking moments um, like doing constant like research like it's like it's almost like she's a gps on on this man like 24 7 like she doesn't get no type of sleep she's burdened she's not happy with her life you know what i'm saying and she's constantly having to like follow this man around and see what he's doing it's like she don't even have a life of her own you know what i'm saying like her life has become being like a detective and it's just kind of like that that this this person is not happy with that, you know what I'm saying? And I feel this person feels like they're stressed and they're overburdened. This person's house could be dirty. Like, they could be, like, not even keeping up, like, taking care of themselves or taking care of, like, their, their everyday needs because this person is so, like, focused on stalking and researching what this, who this other, who this man um, is interested in, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're they're constantly doing that. Like, they're constantly watching this person. It's like... It seems very tiring, you know what I'm saying? Like, this person doesn't even have a life of their own. Like, they have dedicated their whole life to just seeing, like, who this person is interested in. And like I said, I keep seeing Virgo female because that's what I'm picking up very strongly. But it could just be um, either a woman who has Virgo placements in her birth chart or she, you know, I don't know. She's just in this energy. Um, <laughs> I, she's in this energy, you know, the stalker, the watcher, you know what I mean? Um, and she could have been doing this for a very, 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 very long time. Um, but yeah, that, that's the energy that I'm picking up. Like she, um, she doesn't really have a life is what I'm getting. Like her, her life revolves around following this man and, and hiring investigators or doing investigative work on this this man like 24 7 you know what i mean and then i also was getting as well too um another reason why either this virgo male doesn't want to be with whoever he's with or whoever this man is who is in a relationship whatever his sun sign is doesn't want to be with the person he's with and why he's doing black magic to get out of the relationship is because he feels like whoever he's with is um like this person doesn't do anything you know and probably because he either knows this person like if the house looked like this okay and this person is a wife this is like turning him off like the fact that she don't even tend to the home you know she don't she don't have a life of her own she constantly is following him around or studying him or she just she just has no interest she has no passion you know what i'm saying she don't she don't have her own identity okay but those are all the messages I have for you all. Hopefully these messages were helpful for you. And I appreciate y'all so much.